I'm Rob. And I'm Matt. And this is the Barefoot Gaming Review for VR Sports Challenge. Lace up your cleats, sharpen your skates, and grab your helmet as you step out of the tunnel and onto the field, hardwood, and ice in VR Sports Challenge. Listed as an Oculus exclusive, it is however fully compatible with the Vive as of the time of this review with Revive. You can play as a goalie, where the opposing team is on a power play, you're one man down and you'll need to move from side to side, keeping an eye on the puck as shots are fired at you. Make enough saves and you can even play as a forward, taking a shot on their net. Then there's football, or American football, depending on what country you're from, where you play as the quarterback. You'll make the calls on what play, and then you'll find your man in the open and throw, as well as catch, to get as many points as you can. Or perhaps basketball is more your thing. In that case, you'll dribble, pass, and taking shots or dunk the ball to the crowd cheering you on. Last but not least, there's a baseball home run hitting minigame style experience. It's the least fleshed out of all of them, but it's there to scratch that itch in case you've got the urge to knock some balls out of the park. And to wrap it all up, there's a franchise management option that lets you get a little deeper into each experience. It aims to put you into the heart of the action, but can it deliver on that promise? Let's find out. So that was VR Sports Challenge on the HTC Vive. So we actually tried this review once before. We played around with the with the entire thing. We got it all ready. We're like, this doesn't quite seem fair. We want to give it another chance just to make sure. So there's a couple of games in here, and each one kind of plays a little different than the rest. So the one I was most excited about was hockey. Mm -hmm. Then there's football. Yep. Then there's basketball. And then there's a home run challenge, as well as the ability to manage your teams and stuff like that. And the home run challenge is similar to the VR baseball that we have reviewed. Well, That's right, yeah. So as far as the hockey goes, what do you think of hockey? I didn't like it. As a Canadian, we really like hockey. And we do. This didn't feel like hockey at all to me. The ice is right at your knees. It feels like you're stuck in one place there and your gloves can stop the puck, but the stick is horrible. So I get what they were going for, right? I was most excited about hockey of all of these, but it kind of feels like that a goalie does bend their knees and they're sitting kind of, you know, in front of the net to block as much as possible. Mm. The problem is, when you're standing and you feel like you're bending your knees, you want to bend your knees and now all of a sudden you're way too, like it just, it doesn't feel yeah. right. As soon as you bend your knees, then all of a sudden the ice is like halfway to your hip. Collision is great for the gloves. Mm -hmm. the gloves if your body is in the way of the puck, it won't stop. The puck's no. still going to keep going through. Yeah. The puck comes at you three times and you successfully block three times in a row. Then what happens is the puck goes forward and you get to take a shot on net. Yeah. That too doesn't seem to be working 100% perfect. No, it seems like when the puck comes at you, there's a bar that shows up. It goes from red into green, slowly back into red. Yeah. And if you almost pull your stick too far back and try to swing like a regular hockey stick, it doesn't seem to want to hit it in the right spot. And you end up just missing the puck. Obviously, we did get it working sometimes, mm -hmm. but I wish it would work every time. Yeah, if you wanted it to work properly, I guess, you just basically hold your stick right at that spot and then just tap it when it gets to the green there. But that doesn't feel that fluent. Now let's get on to football. What do you think of football? Football was fun. I didn't enjoy getting tackled when I was the quarterback. Sometimes it can feel a little bit weird when you're trying to find someone to throw to. You have to make sure to throw to their feet. As soon as you pull the football back, a little green circle will appear on the field, right? And you kind of aim it where you want it to go. You pull back and you throw it. And the players show that they're open with their helmet going green. If they're not open being covered by someone, their helmets go red. Once you throw the ball, you'll actually have to catch it. Mm -hmm. Pull the triggers when you want to grab. Boom. And it feels really good when it works. Next, mm -hmm. we've got basketball. I'm not a big fan of the basketball. If you try dribbling, it constantly tries shuffling it from hand to hand. It does, yeah. And it feels super awkward. Also, you need a really high ceiling in order for it to be proper, I guess, for throwing. Because when you want to go up like this, if you have like a seven foot ceiling or seven and a half foot ceiling, your hand's going to hit it. We're six foot one. So yeah, that was my biggest frustration mm -hmm. with the two. I thought the mechanics of passing worked pretty good. I thought mm -hmm. the mechanics for shooting actually worked pretty good. I just got incredibly frustrated with the ceiling height. Mm -hmm. And that I can't slight the game for, right? It's not their fault. Okay, so then we've got like the mini games, right? And you can unlock more and more mini games. Mm -hmm. uh, the only real mini game that we played that was different than everything else was the home run baseball. Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't seen our, our VR baseball game review, it plays very similar. There's a pitcher in front of you instead of a batting machine. Yeah. But other than that, basically they throw it at you, you hit a home run, uh, no one runs around the plates or anything. There is a crowd in the background cheering and yep. there's stuff going on, so that's nice to see. But other than that, there's not much to it. It kind of feels boring really, really fast. And it's one-handed. The price on this game is $34.99 and it's only available on the Oculus Store. This is not a game I expect to be ported into Steam. So if you're if you're gonna play this at all, the only way to get this, as far as I can see into the future, is buying it from the Oculus Store. 
So how many out of 10 would you give this, Matthew? Based on all of the games, probably give it a four or a five. If I was just judging the football aspect of to it and it had a lower price tag, I'd probably give it like a six or something like that because the football is quite fun. Again, I wanted a hockey. I really yeah. wanted a hockey. It was going to be fun. It looks great. The graphics are fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give this a four out of ten just because it doesn't feel connected enough. There's too many things that are just not great. So that's it. That's a review for VR Sports Challenge on the HTC Vive. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. There's comments on the bottom, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.